I'm making this video about the MH17 flight. That start with this uh, video in Kiev, and what you're looking at is a place in Kiev, Ukraine, that's called Independence Square. And I want to point out to you that in the middle of Independence Square is this obelisk. And then I want to show you uh, some of the numbers involved in a couple plane crashes, starting with MH370. This is the plane that disappeared. I want to point out to you the number 22 is associated with these crashes and disappearances. And if you use your uh, the numeric value of the letters and you go 13, 8, 3, 7, and then you add those numbers together, you get 22. And today, the day I'm making this video, um, July 24th, an Algiers flight has now crashed. This was a MD-80, I believe, and that flight number was AH-5017. A being 1, H being 8, total them up, 18517 equals 22. Now go to MH17. MH17 happened on 717, July 17th. The flight number does not add to 22, but if you take the date, 717-2014, and add those together, you get 22. And if you take the year, 214, and do the numerology on just that, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 4 is 7. Okay? And then you've probably heard, because I think this has been all over the news, that the maiden voyage of this flight was exactly 17 years um, before the crash on July 17th. There was, I've seen different amounts of people. I've seen 298, but most of the places I see is 295. You do the numerology on that, it equals 7. And then you go down to TWA Flight 800, and that flight, they say will crash somehow, but I believe that was a missile attack as well on TWA 800. Um, and that happened also on 717. July 17, 1996. And if you take just the year and do the numerology on just the year, it totals 25, 2 plus, plus 5 is 7, and you end up with 7, 17, 7. And, and, you know, you look at that and you're like, what in the heck is it with this 7, 17 and this other 7? because it, you see it prevalent in, in these crashes and especially in MH17. I mean, even the flight number of, uh, you know, that has a 17 in it. So, the question is, is, in my mind, you know, is there something to that number? Or is it just the way it is and it's a coincidence? That is going to bring me back to this obelisk in Independence Square in Kiev and we're gonna key off of that obelisk um, because I'll tell you I've if you've seen any of my other videos about the shooting of the two firemen in Webster actually four firemen two that died um, it was keying off an obelisk on Hill Cumora that was uh, put there by the Mormons and the site of that shooting at William Spengler's house on Lake Road in Webster New York is exactly 22 miles from that obelisk on Hill Cumora. So when I see that number 22 associated with tragedy, I perk up a little bit. So anyway, here's Google Earth, and here is Kiev right here, okay? And we're going to go down to that obelisk in Independence Square in Kiev. And this is the obelisk right here. This is Independence Square. This is the obelisk that I just showed you in that PowerPoint and we're gonna put a distance marker on that and then we are going to Kazakhstan and we are going to a pentagram in Kazakhstan and this pentagram okay if you look down I'll show you here in a second that cursor is now dead center in that pentagram, okay? 
that pentagram is in Kazakhstan and that pentagram is 666 feet above sea level okay 666 this pentagram is 666 feet in diameter I'm sorry radius not diameter 666 feet in radius this pentagram is 6,000.066 miles from the Mormon Tabernacle in Salt Lake City, Utah, which obviously is connected to the Mormon uh, on Hill Cumorah, the obelisk. So this thing is all about 666. But let me point this out to you because this is really freaky when you consider that... Um, all the 717s, 717, um, and the 7s and the 177s involved in this crash. Let me show you. I want to put this in the center at 666 feet. Okay. Check this out. This is a heading. Okay. You ready for the heading from the obelisk in Kiev on Independence Square? to that pentagram in Kazakhstan has a heading of that line you ready for this 71.77 degrees 717 the date of that shoot down okay the date of the TWA shoot down and then they followed up with a 7 I don't think that's a coincidence 71.77 degrees. There's a line, it's a 71.77 degree line. You know, there it is again, 71.77 degrees from Kiev obelisk to the to the 666 pentagram in Kazakhstan. Um, 71.77. Let's go back to this. And here you have 7177 all over this. 7177, 7177. I don't think that's a coincidence um, at all. You can see how that's almost 90 degrees to the deep sea obelisk in the South Pacific, which is connected you know, to the obelisk grid system from the Vatican, from Harp and Exmouth, Australia, to the Ramses obelisk in New York City, um, and on and on and on. So these obelisks are all connected, and they're also connected to that, that pentagram in Kazakhstan. But I'm also going to show you another interesting alignment, because Kazakhstan is an interesting country to me right now. Um, there seems to be a lot going on, but this is a line from, again, that obelisk to Astana, okay? The pentagram in Kazakhstan is here. This is Astana, Kazakhstan. Um, and if you follow that line, this whole area here in Astana has been constructed recently. And if you draw the line from that obelisk to this one in Kazakhstan... I'm going to turn this grid off. It literally cuts this whole section in half. Okay, this, this area here. Um, and I have seen other videos that says that this area is the New World Order religion is being created here. And specifically in this pyramid building right here. In this... In this uh, this architecture and from what I've seen and you'll find this on YouTube if you see search New World Order religion in Kazakhstan you'll find that this building comes up I want to point out a couple videos this is my channel Sagittarius rising I want to point out a couple videos I made here's one I made four months ago about Malaysian flight 370 and in that video they, they had talked about that this MH370 could have gone as far north as Kazakhstan. And when I made this video, which is 23 minutes long, 
if you if you skip to the 15 minute mark the last eight minutes of this video is all about that pentagram in Kazakhstan and Astana in Kazakhstan so it's just weird that that I had related to MH370 to what was going on in Kazakhstan and here we are with these alignments on MH3, uh, MH17 but I also want to call your attention to this video that I did and this video here um, summary video Webster New York's alignment with a pentagram that's the pentagram in Kazakhstan because what happened in Webster those firemen are linked to that pen pentagram um, and it also links to the obelisk that it's talking about here is the obelisk on Hill Cumorah which is also linked to Sandy Hook and a lot of other places so if you want to know more about the number 22 and what that has to do with this area of the world that would be a great video to look at and I also want to call your attention to another video I did and I did a couple of them on the obelisk but this one here this harp powered obelisk grid shows the harp in Exmouth Australia linked to several obelisks including that deep sea obelisk that is exactly 90 degrees from Kiev um, because I'm telling you these tragedies they're linked to these obelisks somehow Germany also has an obelisk and if you put a line between the obelisk in Germany and that's what this one is and I'll tell you that the, the Germans they do everything big this freaking obelisk here which was really easy to find because it's literally whatever this is like the heart of Germany is just humongous I mean this thing is just so, so stout I'll bring it down to street level and show you this thing um, check that thing out again see that winged thing on top very very similar to the Kiev um, obelisk um, I drew a line from that obelisk to the obelisk in Kiev okay and then off to there's Kiev to the crash site and that white line right there is literally almost a straight line it isn't quite straight there's a little kink in it but very pretty much straight line to the crash site Germany that crash site is a thousand nautical miles exactly um, from Germany to the Kiev from this obelisk to the Kiev obelisk is exactly 1212 kilometers which I thought was an, an interesting number and then Germany to Astana to that obelisk in Astana that we were looking for over in in, uh, in uh, Kazakhstan is exactly 3900 kilometers which is another occult number the 39 the 13 times 3 so I really think that you know this obelisk grid system they have is really very active